Hello children. Let me take you for a trip around the globe. Do you ever wonder as to what exactly is the shape of the planet Earth? Long long ago, people thought that it was flat like a coin. But later on, when pictures were taken from space, then we got to know that the earth is actually spherical like a sphere. To make the study of this huge spherical earth easy and on a smaller scale, geographers discovered globes and maps. A globe is an exact model of the earth, showing the correct shape and location of the continents. oceans and seas on a smaller scale it shows the shape and location of the continents and oceans as i said and different places too can be located on a globe we all know that continents are large masses of land surrounded by water and there are seven continents north america europe asia South America, Africa, Australia and Antarctica. Millions of years ago, all the continents formed a single supercontinent called Pangaea, which later on split up into pieces and drifted away from one another. The space between these land pieces filled up with water. and the large water bodies that separate the continents are called oceans there are five major oceans in the world the arctic ocean the atlantic ocean the indian ocean pacific ocean and antarctic ocean the world's deepest trench lies in the pacific ocean and is called the mariana trench you know if mount everest was dropped into the mariana trench then its peak would nearly be 2000 meter under water like the earth as the globe is spherical we can see only one half of it a globe is not fixed but can be rotated just like the earth the axis of the globe has two points called poles the one at the top is called the north pole and the one at the bottom is called the south pole midway between the poles is an imaginary line encircling the earth which is called the equator or the great circle this divides the earth into north and south hemisphere a set of imaginary circles and semicircles run across the globe The full horizontal circles are called latitudes or parallels as they are drawn parallel to the equator. The length of the parallels decreases as we move away from the equator towards the poles. The north pole and the south pole are points. The parallels are located at an equal distance from each other. Children There are 181 parallels in total. 90 in the northern hemisphere and are marked with a capital N and 90 in the southern hemisphere which is marked with a capital S. The north pole is written as 90 degree north. The south pole is written as 90 degree south and equator as only 0 degree. Here are some important latitudes. The equator, the Tropic of Cancer, the Arctic Circle, the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle. Longitudes are vertical lines. They are semicircles and run from north pole to south pole. They are of same length. The distance between two meridians is maximum at the equator. and keeps on decreasing as one moves towards the poles the meridians cut the parallels at 90 degrees 
and help us to measure distances in the east-west direction. The longitude of a place is measured east or west of the prime meridian. There are 360 meridians of longitude drawn at an interval of 1 degree. The prime meridian is 0 degree longitude. 180 meridians are to the east of the prime meridian and are marked with a capital E. 180 meridians are to the west of the prime meridian and are marked with a capital W. The 180 degree east and 180 degree west is the same line and is also referred as the international date line. The latitudes and the longitudes form a network of lines or a grid on the globe and help us in locating places accurately on the global grid. You know children, the largest globe on the earth is called Eartha. It's located in Yarmouth, USA and measures 41.5 feet in diameter and rotates and revolves exactly as the earth. Hope you enjoyed this trip of the globe. Thank you. Bye-bye.